Hello, hello. You are most likely here because you were wondering, what should I get my kids teachers for teacher appreciation? These gifts also work for any other holiday. And that's what we are gonna talk about today. Today, I'm gonna to share with you eight gift ideas to get your teacher that they will love. And be sure and stick around to the end because at the end, I'm gonna share two things that teachers absolutely do not want to get. Before we get started, if you would take a second and hit that like and subscribe button so that you'll get notified every time that I post a new video. Being a teacher myself and also talking to a lot of teachers and pulling a lot of teachers, the number one thing that teachers want is to feel appreciated. And sometimes a taco bar just doesn't do it, like a card. Teachers love to get cards and notes of appreciation. Now, personally, I love to do notes from the parent. I love to get notes from parents. It's so wonderful. I love to keep them and read them when you feel like, okay, maybe I'm done teaching. You can go revisit those things of like why you teach and why you love teaching. But I also love to do a card from my kiddo. So here's the one we're doing this year. It says best teacher ever. And then on the inside, I figured teachers love to fill out the little questionnaires about parents. And so this one, it has a questionnaire about the teacher. And then here you can put a picture of either your child holding flowers or they can just draw flowers for their teacher. Like I have my son do. Just a fun kind of out of the box thing that you could give your child's teacher and that they are going to absolutely love and adore. Now, thing number two is that we are going to give teachers some of their time back. Teachers spend so much time cutting things, getting things ready, laminating things. And so you could volunteer your time to help your teacher. Usually teachers will have things that you can do at school or even things that they can stick in a bag and send home. And let me tell you, it's wonderful. It saves them so much time for you to volunteer for something like that for them. The third thing is a little bit different, but it can be something that teachers, that's really overlooked that teachers love and adore. And that's if you have any gently used books or toys, games that you're getting rid of, give your teacher first dibs on those things. Usually those are things that teachers would love to have. I know my teacher's son last year, she was always doing sensory bins. And I was getting rid of a lot of sensory bin stuff because I thought I was a sensory bin mom, but I quickly learned that I am absolutely not. And I was ready for those things to be out of my house. I gave her all of those things and she just absolutely loved it because it was things that she didn't have to go out and buy or spend her money on. So don't forget the power of things that are around your house. All right, so now let's get started. Things that cost money. First of all, they don't expect you to spend any money and they don't expect a gift, but obviously, it kind of stinks to get gifts that you don't want or you already have an overabundance of. And so the, the most practical thing that you could get your teacher is a gift card. It doesn't even have to be a lot, but sometimes it's the thought that counts. And it's nice because your teacher can go get the things that they want or need. The next thing that teachers seem to love to get is a lot of teachers said wine or coffee. Now you'll definitely have to know your teacher on this. You'll have to know if they're a drinker or what they like to drink. Um, same with coffee, do they drink coffee? Maybe they drink tea, maybe they don't go to Starbucks. I know one year I got so many Starbucks gift cards. That's like all I got, but I love Starbucks. So it worked out. But if a teacher didn't love Starbucks, then that would make for kind of like a weird, like what do I do with all of this stuff now? And you don't want the hard earned money that you're spending. You want it to go to the teacher and like you want them to like love the gift. The next thing that is so overlooked, but it is definitely, the best kept secret that I'm spilling right now is school supplies. Teachers love to get school supplies, but try and think beyond like more sticky notes, try and go to maybe their, most teachers have a wish list and get them things off of their wish list that they would like to have or things that like, cause they're gonna have to go buy for their classroom. And so that school supplies makes a really great gift and something that kind of goes hand in hand with that are books. Most teachers spend a lot of money on books in their classroom. So I know for my kids teachers this year around like Black Friday and Christmas, there was so many good hardcover books. They were having like some kind of like a $3 deal on some of these books and I picked up and snagged a whole bunch of books for them to give them at teacher appreciation. The next idea, our last idea, is gonna require a little bit 
um, of planning with your teacher, which kind of leaves out the element of surprise, but it's something that's really nice. And that's to drop off lunch for your teacher. You will have to talk to them and see, you know, if they like the restaurant you're gonna get food from, as well as like what they wanna order. You'll need to also let them know before, the day before you bring it, so that they know not to bring food or to make sure that like they're gonna be at school or something, because you would hate for you to get them food and then like for some reason they're not there that day. So that will be one that you'll have to kind of plan ahead, but one that teachers love because it's always fun to kind of have a meal that you didn't have to plan or prep. And most of the time teachers aren't leaving school or door dashing themselves food. It's a really nice treat that you can give to your teacher. All right, before we talk about the two things that your teacher absolutely doesn't want, I would love if you would take a second and hit that like and subscribe button so that you'll be notified of more videos whenever they come out. All right, so thing number one that almost every single teacher said that they absolutely do not want is homemade food items. Now, I know that sometimes it's really fun and it's nice to make things like that, but honestly, teachers are around a lot of kids all day and a lot of them are kind of germaphobes. And so they don't really know what your kitchen looks like or what you put in the food. And usually to just be a little bit more like on the safe side, most teachers do not eat homemade items. Now, if you still wanna give them like a nice snack or a treat, you can definitely just pick some treats and snacks that they like and pick those up at the store that are already packaged and those are fine. And the last thing is that a lot of teachers felt like certain things with a strong scent, like soaps and candles and things like that are very personal to them. So before you go out and you buy things like that, you'll wanna make sure that you ask your teacher what scent they like to make sure and pick something that you know that they're going to like and not want to return. Some people, especially after pregnancy, some women have some very sensitive noses and so you wanna just be sure. All in all, this concludes down to the best gift to give your teacher is to know your teacher. So if you don't really know your teacher that well, sometimes schools will do kind of like a, do like a little questionnaire of the things that teachers like or this and that home, like at the beginning of the year, or you can even shoot your teacher an email and ask them a few questions. Hey, do you like Bath and Body Works? What's your favorite scent? And even though it kind of eliminates the element of surprise, it does give you the chance to give you, to get your teacher something that you know that they're going to love. If you have a gift that you've gotten that you've just absolutely loved and kept over the years, I would love if you would share it down in the comments below. I know mine is this zip up picnic blanket. I mean, it's genius. It folds and it zips and it's so easy and I use it every single time that we go to the park and I love that thing. So if you have some fun gift ideas like that, please leave them in the comments for us and I will see you guys next Sunday.